Applying Formula One style ground effect to a road car was a huge challenge. My name is Robin Algu and I'm the advanced aerodynamic architect for McLaren Automotive. I've been at McLaren for nine years and prior to that I worked for a couple of F1 team as an aerodynamicist. Since joining McLaren, I've mostly been involved in delivering all the key aerodynamic attributes of the Ultimate Series. Starting with McLaren Senna, I then moved on to the Senna GTL, and uh, I was also part of the crew that put the speed to at 403 km an hour. One of the core aerodynamic concepts of W1 was to transform the car to a fully ground effect car, and that means not relying on a high mounted rear wing to produce a rear downforce. And the central piece to enable that was the aerocell. The complete architecture of the car was designed to work with the aero concept. The aerocell being the centerpiece enables high energy airflow to go under the car to generate the downfalls from the underbody and the diffuser. So in order to provide high energy air to the underbody, we sculptured the aerocell by elevating the foot box, narrowing the waist and also moving the door hinges on top of the roof. This allows us to use F1 level aero control to not only generate the front downfalls, but also washes out the front tire way in order to provide clean airflow to the diffuser. One of the challenges of any aerodynamics is to manage the airflow around the wheels. Similar to the effect of the turning vane on an F1 car, we generate outwash under the body thanks to the aerosol. On W1, we've pushed wheel aerodynamic to a new level. So what looks like a brake duct assembly does a bit more than just brake cooling, as it has multiple function in controlling the air around the tire to generate not only more front downfalls, but also cleaner air to the rear radiators. Once we pushed the ground effect concept fully, it was very logical to move the rear wing behind the car. As opposed to a conventional supercar with a high mounted wing, the active long tail works as an extension of the diffuser and the underbody, by extending it 20%. In race mode, not only the active long tail translates 300 mm, but the whole car drops down to produce five times more downfalls than in road mode. Ground effect is a very powerful concept as it allows to generate high level of downfalls with very little drag. The front active error is that large because we don't have the massive rear wings. So braking stability has been compensated by the front active error. W1 breaks the ceiling. There's a lot of McLaren first and also probably automotive first that push the team really to the limit with injuring challenges throughout the car on the chassis side, on the body side, with new active aero uh, system as well. It's very capable and very ambitious. W1 was by far the most challenging engineering work that I've been involved in. 